I'll go ahead and show y'all, man. Three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait. Beds on the boat, we gon' float. We the Shonen gang, swerve on the road. See the smoke blowing at your face. Pop, kid, better stop, kid. With that violence, rock shit on some hard shit. Alright, and it's my head all the way in there. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. As you've seen by that title and that beautiful thumbnail, man, you already know what is going down today. Your boy got a new car, man. I don't think they ready to see my new car, man. I, that was a fly. Excuse me. Bro, what you wanna do? <laughs> this has been long overdue, man. Me getting the car has been long overdue, man. I was supposed to been had a car. I've been working for about a couple years now. Now it's like I'm playing, but I've been working, man. I've been working so hard to get this car, and like I'm just so proud of myself. I want to thank everybody for whoever who motivated me, who inspired me, who was there for me for support, things like that, who helped me, stuff like that. I, I didn't have nobody help me get this car, but I purchased, I had uh, people like just in my ear telling me like what what to do, what not to do, how to go about it and stuff like that. So I'm super duper excited, man. Thank y'all. And I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my car. I, I really don't think they ready though. They not like, ready. I don't think they ready. Like, you think they ready to see my car? No, I don't think they ready. I don't think they ready. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, okay. I'll go ahead and show y'all, man. Three, two, one. My new car! Yes, sir! This is my new car, man. As y'all can see, it's, 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 it's something. It's better than nothing. Get me from point A to point B. You know what I'm saying? It's not my, you know, what, what I really wanted. Titus. You know? Stop playing. This not your car, bro. This not my car. No, it's not. What? What you mean? It's this. This not your car. So you saying this? I paid for this though. No, like, you didn't. Yes, I did. Stop like, playing with them. Come on. Like I, I, I really paid for this car. No, this not your car. Like, do y'all see the rims? Do y'all see? The rims, like, I, I paid no, for this. No, this isn't I your paid car. For this. Stop playing with the goat fam and let them know what's really up. Wait, so basically, you telling me this spaceship, this boat that I just bought, the ride on land, you saying this not my car? No. So, what I'm supposed to be driving then? Stop, come on, Titus, stop playing with them and show them. Come, come over here, come over here. Like, I honestly, I really paid, if y'all guess down in the comments how much I paid for this car and she gonna sit here and tell me that this, this is not my car. Like, stop playing with them. All right, man. Let me stop playing with y'all. Just hit a button, Morty, give me a beat. Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir, this is my real car, yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Let me go ahead and introduce y'all to the real car, man. I got me a, a little Honda Civic, you know, 2018 Honda Civic. I, I couldn't afford a 2020, but you know, that's coming soon. But this is something just to start off with. So come on, let me take y'all around. Let me take y'all around, man. So as you can see, I got the chrome around the, the front here, as you can see, you know what I'm saying, man. Black finish all around. You know, I got the sunroof on the top you feel me sunroof is something that i really wanted to get in uh, on the car like if i if the car didn't have a sunroof then i didn't want the car like that i, I really wanted a sunroof i just feel like it's a vibe if you have a sunroof like you know just riding at night sunroof led back you feel me it's a vibe come on i'm gonna show y'all some more so i got the camera you know I, I'm gonna show y'all what that's for in a little bit, you know what I'm saying? What else? Check out the rims. Get the rims. Show them the rims, man. Show the, yes, sir. Got the nice alloy wheels on there. 
You feel me? Come on, come on, come on. So man, this is my car, man. I really, really, really love this car. Show them the car, man. I really, really love this Take car. Take them around. Like, I worked so hard to get this car, man. I am so proud of myself, man. I knew it's nobody but the man above, and I wouldn't be able to do this without him, so I thank you, man. This is my new car, so right now, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a, a overview of the car around, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take y'all inside, okay? Let's get it. All right, y'all, so we are in the car now. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a tour of the car. All right, so I'm gonna start on this side for y'all. You know, I got um, the window controls right here. Um, got the window lock. These are the buttons to lock the car. Um, this is to control my uh, left and my right mirror over there. Um, that's to control that. Here's the button to um, go ahead and open up my trunk if it'll focus for y'all. There y'all go to open up the trunk. It's a little button right there um, to open up the hood of my car. There y'all go. All right, over here, um, this is the, um, I don't know what that is. Yeah, y'all, if y'all know what that is, comment down below what that is, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. So we got, obviously, uh, my, co my car is cold. Um, for whatever reason, I'm not sure. Um, this is where um, it tells me how fast I'm going right there. That's how many miles I have left uh, to go uh, with the amount of gas I have in my car. This shows me how much gas I have in my car. So almost on full, but not quite there. I've been driving it around a little bit. I had this car since Thursday. So yeah, so push to start. Just put my foot on the brake. Here's the steering wheel um, right here. Uh, it's kind of thicker than any other steering wheel that I have ever like in, in any other car I have driven. Um, I kind of like it. it. It just feels different and it feels good. So I like that. I have my buttons over here to answer calls when my phone is connected to the, to the car. Uh, this will control the volume and things like that, voice control. Um, this is my menu button, so when I press that, I'll be able to uh, look at stuff, so at my gas and stuff like that, music, phone, etc., etc. All right, so that's the steering wheel right there. So this is where I control my, um, the left and right signals. This button right here, um, this button, I was showing y'all the camera on that side earlier on that one, on that uh, mirror over there. Um, basically, whenever I tap this, this button right here, or whenever I signal right, my car will turn that camera on and I can see uh, who's on the side of me without actually looking over my shoulder. Me personally, um, I'm going to be looking over my shoulder regardless because, I mean, that's what I've always been doing. I've never had a car to have, have that. So, it's I'm probably, basically, I'm just going to be doing the same thing I've been doing. So, just looking over my shoulder. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, and on this side, this is where I control my windshield wipers and things like that on this side right here. Now I'm going ahead and get into the mid section, the media section right here. So I kind of like the fact that it's um, it's all touch screen, touch screen. But the thing that I don't like is the volume. Um, basically, whenever I want to turn the volume up and down, I would have to tap on one of these um, to turn it up and down. I wish it was just like a little knob that I could turn, um, just like uh, uh, all the other cars. I wish I could just turn a knob and turn the volume up and down, but hey, I'll have to deal with it. Um, so this is the audio, um, phone, but my phone is connected to it, settings, smart connection and things like that. If y'all wondering what that noise is, that is this right here. Um, this is my car mount. 
whenever I put my phone close to it, it'll open up like that and I just put my phone in there. And it is a charger. Y'all can't see it because it's bright outside, but yeah. And whenever I just want to get take it off, just like that. Like so. Up here, um, there's a little button to control the brightness. So if I want to turn it down, you know, or turn it up, things like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the menu here. Oh wait. I wish I, it's, I'm tripping. See, I don't even know how to work the claw on it. But um, that's that. Um, I can download apps and stuff. I, I can't download any games or nothing like that, but like I can just download like stuff for the car if, if I needed to. Down here, we have our climate control. So whenever I press that button right there, it'll pop up right here. Um, and then I can turn it all the way high like that. Like I said, it's completely touch screen, so I can put it on anyone I want to. Um, Y'all know what that is. I don't have the AC on right now. I just have the fan going. So, that's good. Um, Y'all know what this stuff is. Everything is pretty self-explanatory if you've ever been in the car. Um, I have seat warmers uh, inside of the car as well uh, for the winter time. These are my gears. I also have a sport mode, if y'all know what sport mode is. Brake hold, electric parking brake, um, econ mode. I don't really know what econ mode is. Um, I'm guessing that's supposed to help it save gas or whatever, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the mid section right here. Our, like I said, I've already had this car since Thursday, so I, I've already been putting like my stuff in here. I have a gum. And I have uh, these mints in case somebody get in here with some stinky breath. I'll be able to help them out. Got my sanitizer. I got a mask. And I have a microfiber towel to wipe that off whenever it gets dusty. Because I do not like dust on um, that. I'm going to try to keep this car uh, as clean as I can. Um, also, uh, I have these two cup holders. And I have an extra cup holder down there. This mid section is kind of deep. Um, I can stick like half of my arm inside of there. And it also comes with um, an extra an extra USB port for somebody else if they need to uh, charge their phone. I also have extra chargers down there in that compartment. This is another compartment uh, down here. Um, so if I want to put something down there, I can do that as well. Here's the back of the car. Uh, it's pretty roomy, if you ask me. Uh, my umbrella back there. I have that. And I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I've been wanting to show y'all. Hold on, let me let me get right with y'all. Hold on, let me get right. Let me get right. So, this is my sunroof. This is what I've always wanted in the car. Um, I like I've been driving it around since Thursday and I it's amazing like just the feel the vibe you know listening to music and stuff like that um, so I can let that back like such and you know I can just ride you know feel the breeze feel the air that's outside you know get some fresh air inside of here and then if I wanna if I don't wanna open it all the way and I just wanna tilt it up. What I do is I just press press the button up like that and it'll just tilt it. It won't actually open it. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and close it all the way because I'm not about to use it right now. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it to be honest. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go to the trunk for y'all so y'all can see the trunk. So y'all can see that. Go ahead and open that for y'all. <clears throat> this is the trunk. This is the trunk. So I open that right there. That stuff that I have put in there. Uh, this is my trunk. Uh, it's a 60-40 split. You know, this is how I have, I let down the seats back there. You know what I'm saying? I have two latches on each side. So yeah. 
that's how the trunk is it's actually bigger than some of the cars that i've seen so yeah that's good uh yeah that's pretty much it and a cool thing about the the gas uh capsule thing um whenever i lock my car this locks with the car so if you're scared of somebody who is like if you're at the gas station you scare somebody messing with your gas uh thing or whatever all you have to do is just lock your car and this will lock uh with the car and whenever i unlock it it'll unlock with the car as well so that's that also another uh cool feature about the car is whenever um i get out of my car and i have the keys in my pocket and the, and i turn the car off all i gotta do is walk 10 feet away from my car and the car will automatically lock itself so if you if i know everybody has done this when you got out of a car and you don't know that you if you lock the car or not well with the honda civic um the ext it'll lock itself when you and when you walk 10 feet away from the car so that's always good to have um another feature that i like about it is whenever um i do lock my car whenever i do lock my car all i have to do instead of using uh, the actual keys all i have to do is just put my hand inside of here and it'll automatically unlock itself like that so that's good and then i can just press this little button right here to lock it and then we green that's pretty much it for the car like i said i'm extremely proud of myself i wouldn't be able to do it without the man above i need some good lighting there we go i wouldn't be able to do this without the man on the bus so i thank him for each and every um, goal that i've met all the blessings that i have received and things like that there's many more to come this is just a small milestone but yeah man that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're new to the channel man go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button man and leave a comment down below on what you think maybe put some little congratulations and stuff in there i don't know you may you know what i'm saying and yeah man i'm gonna see y'all in the next video white 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 bags on the boat we gon' float we the shonen gang swerve on the road see the smoke blowing at your face pop kid better stop kid with that violence rock shit on some hard shit